Hey there, wonderful peoples. Welcome back to our YouTube channel MJ Manjari, your go-to place for all things awesome and educational. Today's video is very important for school students because today we got something really special to talk about. So title is how to write title and project synopsis correctly in the nomination form of Inspire Manak Award 2025. So now let's see in detail. So the first thing you should know, the purpose. The purpose of including title and project synopsis in the nomination form is to get the sufficient idea about the project being submitted. Hence, proper care has to be taken while filling this detail. Now, first let us talk about the title of the project. So, a suitable title describing the project should be given. Like for example, a device to climb tree or an assistive walking aid for the elderly. As you can see in this title, it's completely described what your project is about and the title which you should not use like not a broad theme. Example, agriculture, Swach Bharat, Swast Bharat, Digital India. Now, as you can see, this theme are very broad. They does not describe what type of project you are making to make Swach Bharat or Swast Bharat. So, make sure your title should be completely describing your project just Two example I have given you. Now next, how to write project synopsis or what are the important points you should keep in your mind while writing the project synopsis. So three most important thing. First, what is the project about? Second, what problem it addresses? And third, what the advantage is? So make sure when you are writing this, this should be in three different paragraphs. I will show you one example also or sample for you so that it will be more clear to you. And while writing synopsis, you can add few photographs or sketches if you are having it. It will more completely describe your project. Now here is a sample for you like title of the project, traveling bag with folding seat. So it's completely described that I have one project where I am making one bag with folding seat attached in it. Now how to write project synopsis? As you can see, I have written three paragraphs in that. First paragraph describes the problem. Second, what my project is. And third, how my project is solving the problem. Like here, the problem is many a time traveler have to stand while waiting for bus or train at bus stand as the number of seat available of as for India it's very common this common problem now what my project is about the student has developed a traveling bag where a folding seat has been incorporated so it clearly say about my project now third how my project is solving the problem this can be unfolded and used for sitting while waiting for the bus or train thereby eliminating the discomfort while standing for long time. It will be especially useful for ladies and elderly. So main problem was less seat in bus station or railway station. So if my bag itself has the seat facility. So whenever I am waiting for bus I can just unfold the seat available in my bag and I can sit there which will solve the problem for especially for ladies and elderly people. So as you can see this title of the project and project synopsis clearly give the idea to the judge what I want to make or what problem I am going to solve. Now next kindly note filling the nomination form correctly help in proper evaluation online. Remember all the projects are first in screen online without the child being present to explain the project. Means first screening will be there based upon your project title and synopsis. If they are not completely describing your project, you will be at negative because judge won't be able to understand what you are going to make. So they will directly reject. You don't get any chance to explain your project. The Inspire Manak Award 2025 is a golden opportunity for all you young mind out there to showcase your creativity and innovation and maybe even win cash prize along the way. So what are you waiting for? Get those creative juice flowing and let your imagination run wild. Remember, last date for registration is 15 September 2025. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more exciting update 
Until next time, happy writing.